Hey guys, it's Michelle here with iHelpMoms.com. I hope you're doing great. I'm so excited today to have a postpartum doula, Amber, from our iHelpMoms.com network. And you know, I had someone ask me the other day, Michelle, you're working, your husband's gone working all the time, you've got three kids, how the heck are you so happy? And I have one very simple answer, is I finally figured out how to do this baby thing and how to make postpartum great for me this third time around. And a key component of not only doing hypnobirth, but is after that calm, easy birth that I had, I hired a postpartum doula to come in for a couple of weeks and really help me get my feet under the ground and most of all, help me get some sleep. So today, Amber is gonna be talking about what does it look like when you hire a postpartum doula between the hours of 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. and what do you do to help a mom feel comfortable with having someone in their home helping with baby? Okay, hi guys, I'm Amber from Blessing Plus and Beyond. And as Michelle mentioned, um, postpartum is that period after you have the baby, usually the first six weeks, and it can extend anywhere to three to four months, depending on you know how you're healing, how everything's going. So what I do is I come into the home, usually we have a plan beforehand. If I've been hired you know, a month or two beforehand and mom knows I'm gonna really need help, we have a plan and I kind of ask her to focus on the things that she already anticipates needing help with. Okay. Sometimes I get a call and you know, mom's kind of in crisis mode and kind of past that point, yeah. hubby's out of town working, family's already you know, came and left. Um, and I kind of just come in and say, I don't know, just do what you do, <laughs> wave your magic wand. And you know, so I come in and, and the most important component is usually sleep, yeah. as Michelle said. And it doesn't, we don't have to suffer as moms. We do not. You know, we have this mentality that we're not allowed to ask for help. We're supposed to do it all. We need to ask for help. I think that's my first Great and tip. four most important tip is making sure you allow yourself to ask for that help. Now, what the help looks like. When I come in, um, usually, you know, I have a mom either feeding, baby need a diaper change, it's siblings time to go to bed, so mom's kind of, you know, trying to juggle between, yeah. you know, two, three, four tasks, dinner dish, you know, dishes on the table. So I kind of come and I just start, you know, um, getting in where I fit in. You know, sometimes the moms kind of just let me do my thing. So it can be anywhere from get to bed, I'm gonna put baby down, you know, it's a collective effort, so sometimes dads are, you know, involved too, or family members, but the most important thing is usually getting mom off and getting her to bed. Awesome. And sometimes they're like, okay, I'm gone. And other times it's, you know, it's more of a process and letting go of that, you know, mommy guilt. Uh, um, but I get up as soon as baby gets up, we do the feedings together, I'll help her pump, um, position her with baby, I'll take over the feedings if mom really needs, you know, extra sleep. And then I'm doing everything in between. So I'm birthing the baby, I'm settling the baby, you know, sometimes that could take maybe an hour or more, yeah. um, you know, dressing them, diaper change, so that your sleep is really, really, you know, concrete. Yeah. You're getting not, you know, interrupted sleep an hour here, an hour there, but you're really getting some sleep because everything that, you know, is included in newborn care could take you all night long. Yeah. So that's, that's really, you know, it. the biggest, you know, the biggest um, factor, you know, in trying to heal is making sure that you're getting that rest yeah. and they say, oh, sleep when baby sleeps. It's a great novelty, you know, but um, it doesn't always happen like that. Amazing. Thank, Thank you, you so much Thank for Michelle. making another Thanks easier. Thanks for having me. Bye-bye, guys. Bye, guys. Check us out on <laughs> iHubMoms.com. Bye-bye. It's perfect that she's sleeping. <laughs> yeah.